Czech Airlines is the flag carrier of the Czech Republic and the former flag carrier of Czechoslovakia. The company was founded in 1923, making it the fifth oldest still operating airline in the world. In this video, we will explore the history of this storied airline as well as the challenges that lie before it. Czech Airlines, back then known as Československé státní aerolinie or Czechoslovak State Airlines, was founded on the 6th of October 1923. Its first flight from Prague to Bratislava followed soon after, just 23 days later, on the 29th of October 1923. The airline grew and added new lines, like Prague to Košice, finally connecting the eastern part of the country to the west. The first international flight happened in 1930 from Bratislava to Zagreb in Yugoslavia. More international flights followed, like Prague to Bucharest, Romania in 1933 and the long haul from Prague to Moscow, USSR. This flight took 10 hours on the slow piston engine aircraft of the time and required stops in Užgorod, Czechoslovakia, Cluj, Romania, Jasi, Romania, Kiev, USSR, and Bryansk, USSR, before finally arriving in Moscow. In 1936, the airline's route map looked like this. With 11 international and 9 domestic flights. The shortest route was Prague to Hradec Králové, clocking in at roughly 94 kilometers. The longest flight was the aforementioned trek from Prague to Moscow, clocking in at roughly 2300 kilometers. The main base of the airline moved from Prague Belly to the newly opened Prague Ruzinia Airport in 1937. Operations continued until the occupation in 1939 when all aircraft were seized by the Nazi government. The airline resumed operations in 1945 and bought the US Army's surplus Douglas DC-3s in 1946. After the communist coup in 1948, Czechoslovak Airlines was nationalized by the government. Flights to the west still resumed, but you needed to get approval from the government to travel over the Iron Curtain and only important government figures and sport teams were allowed to get permission. Travel to the eastern bloc was way easier, so most people who traveled by plane flew either domestically or to the eastern bloc, like to Yugoslavia or Bulgaria. In 1957, Czechoslovak State Airlines started operating its first jet airliner, the Tupolev Tu-104. The airline also holds the first route operated solely by jet aircraft, Prague to Moscow. In 1970, the airline received the long-range Ilyushin IL-62 aircraft, which finally opened long-range intercontinental flights like Prague to Montreal, Canada to New York, USA. The first-generation Tu-104 started getting replaced in 1971, when the Tupolev Tu-134 entered service. In 1974, the company purchased five Yakovlev Yak-40 aircraft to serve its short-haul domestic routes. The airline continued to grow and add new routes, and in 1984, the route map looked like this. The aging Tu-134 started getting replaced by Tupolev Tu-154s in 1988. In late 1989, the communist government fell and a new democratic government took over. The end of Soviet control meant that the company could purchase Western aircraft. Airbus A310s were purchased in 1991 and Boeing 737s were purchased in 1992. Travel to the West became much easier and more accessible in the 90s, so the company started to focus more on flights to the Western bloc countries. With the lead-up to the split of Czechoslovakia, the airline split up in August 1992. Assets were split up between the newly formed Czech Airlines and the Slovak airline Slov Air, which ended operations in 2001. After the split, the airline entered a new era.
The 90s didn't start out too well for the airline. In 1993, the company reported a massive 1.2 billion Czech crown loss. But eventually, it emerged from its financial woes and began growing again. In 1995, Czech Airlines took delivery of two Boeing 737-400s, and in 1996, it began cooperation with Continental Airlines. In 2000, the last Soviet airliner was retired from service and the airline began operating only Western aircraft. In the same year, the company began selling tickets over the internet. Here's what the website looked like. Czech Airlines took delivery of four new aircraft in 2005, two Airbus A32200 and two Airbus A32100. In the same year, the airline rolled out online check-in, streamlining the check-in process. Czech Airlines was hit hard during the 2008 financial crisis. The company was almost sold, but in the end, it was bailed out by the government. The company began slowly downsizing after the crisis. In 2010, 415 pilots and 752 cabin crew members worked at the airline. In 2014, the numbers shrunk to roughly 230 pilots and 400 cabin crew members. In the years 2013 and 2014, Czech Airlines was privatized. 44% of the company was sold to Korean Air and 33% was sold to Czech company Travel Service. After the privatization, the airline continued downsizing, selling all its Airbus A320 aircraft in 2014. In 2015, the entire fleet of Czech Airlines consisted of 9 Airbus A319s, one Airbus A330 and seven ATR4272 turboprop aircraft. After 2015, the financial situation of the airline improved and the company began hiring new employees after a long time. In 2018, Travel Service, now known as SmartWings, bought out 64% of Czech Airlines' shares from the state in Korean Air and became the owner of 97.74% of shares. After this move, Travel Service wanted to replace the Airbus fleet of Czech Airlines with Boeing 737s, but after the 737 MAX grounding, Czech Airlines continued to fly Airbus jets while Travel Service carried on with its Boeing 737 operations. In January 2020, plans were made for fleet expansion. Czech Airlines was supposed to receive four new Airbus A320 jets and continue operating the Airbus A330, which is at least from Korean Air. One Airbus A320 came into the airline's fleet, but the other ones were cancelled due to the pandemic. The Airbus A330 also returned to Korean Air. In response to the pandemic, the airline laid off most of its staff, filed for bankruptcy and began restructuring the company. After the restructuring ended, the fleet shrunk to one Airbus A320. The current route map of Czech Airlines looks like this. The only flight is from Prague to Paris Charles de Gaulle four times a week. It's honestly a pretty sad sight to see. The future doesn't look good for the airline. After the company restructuring, the new majority owners became a private company called Prague City Air with 70% of the shares outstanding and SmartWings with 30% of the shares. The airline received 140 million Czech crowns loans, which it hopes will be enough to restart operations and turn a profit. We can only hope that this almost 100-year-old airline will come out of financial purgatory intact and continue to fly passengers in and out of this beautiful country of ours. This has been Tramley, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.